St. Cloud State University hockey fans, tonight we'd like to recognize the achievements of our seniors on the 2015-16 men's hockey team and the cheerleading squad at St. Cloud State University who made their final regular season appearance at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center this evening. These seniors have helped lead St. Cloud State to a WCHA regular season title in 2012-13, an NCHC regular season title in 2013-14, an NCAA Midwest Regional title in 2013, a trip to the NCAA Frozen Four in 2013, three consecutive NCAA tournament bids, and two consecutive runner-up finishes in the NCAA West Regionals in 2014 and 15. The Huskies have won over 91 games during this four-year run of this senior class, and St. Cloud State has consi consistently been ranked among the nation's top 20 programs during these four seasons. At this time, let's meet the 2015-16 St. Cloud State seniors, starting with the cheerleading team. We want to welcome Stephanie Drown. Stephanie is from Alexandria, Minnesota and a graduate of Jefferson High School. <laughs> Stephanie is an elementary education major here at St. Cloud State. She is a daughter of Denise and Christopher Drown. Put together for Stephanie Drown and her parents, Denise and Christopher. Next up is Libby Grams. Libby is from Little Falls, Minnesota. Graduate of Little Falls Community High School. Libby is a finance major here at St. Cloud State University. She is a daughter of Harlan and Mary Beth Grams. Lily Grams and her parents, Harlan and Mary Beth. Our final senior cheerleader is Hannah Nyland from Hibbing, Minnesota High School. Hannah is a community psychology major. She is a daughter of Sarah Kruth and the late Don Nyland. Our third senior cheerleader, Hannah Nyland, and her mother, Sarah Kruth. Our first senior hockey player is forward number nine, Joey Benick. A resident of Andover and a graduate of St. Francis High School. Benick is a physical education major at St. Cloud State University. He is the son of Vicki and David Benick. For the Huskies, at a forward, number nine, Joey Benick. Our senior salute continues with forward number 11, Kelly Kosala. A resident of Big K, Finland, Kosla is an international business major here at St. Cloud State University. He is the son of Matty Kosla and Taria Kosla. At center for the Huskies, number 11, Kelly Kosella. Next up is forward number 13, David Morley. A resident of Richmond Hill, Ontario, and a graduate of Alexander McKenzie High School, Morley is a marketing major here at St. Cloud State University. He is the son of Kevin and Wendy Morley. At a forward for the Huskies, number 13, David Morley. Forward, number 21, Jimmy Murray, a resident of Darien, Illinois, is our next senior tonight, a graduate of Hinsdale South High School. Murray is a finance major at St. Cloud State University. He is the son of Jim and Maureen Murray. And a forward for the Huskies, number 21, Jimmy Murray. Team captain and defenseman, 
Number 12, Ethan Prow is completing his career at St. Cloud State University in 2015-16. A resident of Sock Rapids and a graduate of Sock Rapids Rice High School, Prow is a finance major at St. Cloud State University. He is the son of Gloriana and Jim Prow. At defense, worry number 12, Captain Ethan Brown. Our senior class is completed by goaltender number 45, Erasmus Riola. A resident of Espoo, Finland, Riola is a finance major here at St. Cloud State University. He is a son of Tommy and Sari Riola. In goal for the Huskies, number 45, Rasmus Riola. <laughs> Seniors, thanks for your contributions during your careers at St. Cloud State and for helping position our program among the best I mean the best NCAA programs in the nation. Good luck in the future, and thanks for the memories. One more time, fans, let's hear it for our seniors. Woo!
There they are, the senior class of 2016. And Mark, they're making the slowest lap around this <laughs> rink. They don't want this to end. These guys came to St. Cloud not knowing what to expect. They came here as high schoolers, and yet they knew that this was the right place for them and for their hockey career. And all their best friends for life are standing right on the ice with them. Absolutely. You want to know how much this, how much these guys care, how much this silly little game means to all of us? You could just take a look at Kelly Kosla's face watching that highlight reel. And you can see how, you know, like you said, it's a silly game, but these are now bonds that will last the rest of their lives. They'll be with these friends just like you are with Matt Cullen. I mean, every day you're going to talk to your teammates the rest of your life, and being part of a group it's strange for people that don't play sports that have not participated that have had to go through the drills the practices the video sessions the chewing outs the homework this classroom time i mean it's been a remarkable ride for these guys and these guys not only went on the ride they led the ride during their four years here and they leaned on each other through that whole ride. There was ups and downs, and they'd have to lean on their best friends at that moment, and the rest of their life, they will still have to lean on these guys at times. And you look at what this group accomplished, not only on the ice, but off the ice. Bob Motzko mentioned to us pregame that these gentlemen elevated this program here at St. Cloud State. They came in with a great group, no doubt about it, they came in with a Hobie Baker winner, with a Ben Hanowski, with a Nick Jensen, with great, great leadership, but they became part of that. That was the only reason this team was a Frozen Four participant, was because of those guys on the ice. Right as there. great as Drew LeBlanc, Nick Dow, Johnny Brodzinski were individually, and how much they did do for this organization, it is. It's the depth. It's the depth of character on the ice. It's amazing how well they took the torch from St. Cloud, ran with it, and made it their own. Right when we kind of figured St. Cloud almost couldn't get any better unless we just steal that national championship, we got Drew LeBlanc, Hobie Baker winner. And yet, Drew LeBlanc's not on the ice in the senior class. It's right. just flat out incredible what this group has done as a group. Yeah. It's a truly a team victory for them all. All right. The captain is ready to speak. He's standing by with Taylor. Ethan, crazy to believe that it's already senior night for you guys. Recognizing seven of you guys tonight, how what have, what's the experience been like for you guys the past four years? Oh, it's it's been unreal. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better group uh, group of guys to share it with, and and to be on this team for four years wearing this jersey, it's uh, it's something special. I think I've asked you this question probably a hundred times over your career, but this senior class, the class of 2016, one of the most standout groups in this program's history. What is it that makes you guys so special? Uh, it's a talented group. Uh, uh, we're real close, but you can't overlook the teams that we've been on. We've had a great, great group ever since we came in from uh, all the older guys that paved the way for us, and we're just kind of hoping that we pave the way for some of the younger guys moving forward. Yeah, being one of the local guys, being from Sauk Rapids, did you ever think you'd see a day like this where you're being recognized on senior night in a State Club State sweater? Uh, no, I, I don't think I ever did, but uh, it was one of my dreams from day one, and uh, it's finally here, and it goes by really fast, but... Uh, we're just trying to soak it in, and uh, we got a lot more work to go. Thanks so much, Ethan. Congratulations, and go join the rest of the guys there. <laughs> we'll send it back upstairs to you guys, Jim and Mark. All right, thanks very much, Taylor. And you look at what this group accomplished, uh, all academic. Basically, that whole entire senior class, all academic members. So not only the great work they did on the ice here, but they also led in the classroom. And that's what Bob Motzko and his staff have been trying to build here at St. Cloud State is a culture. And this group is kind of the group I think that they want every senior class to emulate from here on out. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'd love to have every senior year have four years of Frozen Four experience, or <laughs> national, excuse me, national tournament experience. Uh, no, they, they, they character class there's so many ways that you can describe this group of players and and it, it makes me so happy to be part of it way way back in the day and to see how far it's come since cully and i were in there and there was an old wood stalls that didn't look anything like they do now 
uh, it's so so much fun and so exciting for me to be part of it and watch these guys grow, knowing what that feels like out there with your best friends. And that's why this program has now become a national power. That is why St. Cloud State has been ranked top 10 nearly all season long. It's because of leadership like that as a group continues to grow. And this group wasn't about themselves because it was a huge senior class, seven guys. They can basically have their own group and not bring in the freshmen and not bring in the sophomores. They can be, you know what, hey, we're seniors. This is our year. We, we don't need your help. But these guys were all inclusive, and I think that's one reason why this team is where they are right now. And that's a big thing for leadership. It's not just hanging out with the guys away from the ice. It's teaching them little things, making these freshmen feel like part of the team. When you come in as a freshman, it's a little scary. These big, bad seniors, a little bit older than you, and you're just coming out of high school. It can be intimidating, but you can tell just how the freshmen, the steps that they progress during the season, they're clearly getting help from the older, the older guys on this team. And it just talks, goes back to their character. I don't know how many times I can say it. They've just got a spectacular character. Yeah, this group, as you mentioned and Bob Motzko mentioned before, uh, the first senior class in St. Cloud State history to go to the NCAA tournament four straight years. And you look at that, and obviously you have to give a tip of the hat to the coaching staff and Coach Gibbons and Coach Raboyne that went out and recruited these players, but you have to slap these guys on the back because they took the ball and ran with it. Yeah, you, you can teach guys the game. You can show them how to play. You can draw all the X's and O's up on a board you want, but it's still got to come from within side. It's got to come from your heart. It's got to come from a love of the game to continue on with this kind of success after, as we spoke, losing Hobie Baker winners, losing older guys, and they just kept saying, no, 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 that wasn't them. It was us. Just wait till we get there as seniors. We'll show you guys something. And, man, has it been fun. Yeah, there's still more chapters to write for the senior class. This isn't the end of the year. They have one more week of the regular season. Then it is the NCHC playoffs, and St. Cloud State has already assured themselves a home series here in two weeks, best of three against an opponent to be named. And this team, uh, obviously, Duluth is a tremendous team. They're now we saw why they were picked to win the NCHC regular season title this year. They haven't done that, but they are still a very dangerous opponent. But for St. Cloud State, there's so much more out there. There's so much left to do here as they get ready for the playoffs. I'm sure it's, it's one of the things that feels a little bit weird about senior nights. It feels like it's the end of the mm -hmm. season, the end of the rainbow. But there's still a lot of hockey to be played here for these seniors, and that's that's for them. Now this season, the rest of the seniors are for these seniors. How memorable can they be? make their career All what right. kind of memory can they finish with yeah that's yet to be seen here we'll have games for you in the first round of the playoffs plus you can maybe perhaps see the huskies at the target center later this year but come on out to the brook center and support them in the playoffs for mark Parrish, i'm jim rich thanks very much for joining us here tonight we hope you enjoyed the broadcast here on Fox Sports North for our entire Husky production crew made up of all students here at St. Cloud State. A tremendous season, a tremendous career as these guys walk off the ice one last time.